Hello, I am Mr23 and welcome to a new tutorial. I decided to divide this video in two parts and if you want to learn a lot of cool techniques to be able to create a landscape like this one or to create custom trees, today is your lucky day. Watch this tutorial until the end so you can find out what we will learn next week also. Everything started with this picture but uh, I really didn't like the sky area so I removed that. I started to select uh, this area and then after I selected uh, the mountains I removed the sky. Underneath this I uh, found this, uh, this image with the sky so I uh, placed it underneath. Then for the sky image I have added a color balance where I have modified the cyan and the blues and I did the same thing for the mountains one I added uh, another color balance where I try to match the sky with the mountains now. And I have added an exposure adjustment layer and I increased the offset and gamma correction to the mountains picture. In the middle I wanted uh, to keep uh, those uh, trees and uh, the river so I found this amazing picture and I had to remove the sky, the mountains and the back trees. How I did that is to duplicate this layer first. So I have this layer two times, I'm going to hide the one underneath and I'm going to double click on this uh, layer. Then. Here on this blend diff I'm going to select the blue. I'm going to drag this uh, slider to the left and you'll see that most of uh, the parts of the top area will be gone. So I'm going to stop at some moment where I uh, see that uh, it's not looking that good and then I'm going to hold alt and drag this right slider a bit more to the right and then I'm going to hit ok. Uh, then I'm going to right click on this layer and convert it to a smart object. Then I'm going to right click again and rasterize layer. And if I'm looking at the image of course it doesn't really look that well because some parts are gone. Now I can bring back the layer that uh, I had underneath so uh, this one and I'm going to add uh, inverted mask and now it's gone again but don't worry I'm going to select an area that I want to keep 100% and then I'm going to hold alt and press delete and I just brought that part back. There will be some parts that uh, still need some uh, a bit of attention like uh, this area here. So on the layer on top I'm going to add a mask and with the sovereign brush and the black color I'm going to paint and hide those area that uh, I don't want to keep. Don't worry if uh, you'll see that uh, line here I'm going to uh, select the mask from the layer underneath and with uh, grass brush and the flow set to 100% and the white color I'm going to paint on that, those areas and now it looks like I have some uh, grass over there. Then I'm going to add a levels adjustment layer and make the trees a bit uh, darker and with the uh, color balance I'm going to add some cyan's and uh, blues to match the other colors. Then I found this uh, photo and I wanted to keep uh, those trees uh, behind the trees and the mountains that I already have. So I uh, placed that one uh, here on uh, this uh, left side and then I uh, double click on the layer and I did the same thing. Only this time I used the gray instead of blue because I really didn't have that much uh, blue over there. So I dragged uh, this uh, slider to the left and then hold alt and drag again the slider to the right and then I hit ok. Don't worry if you see some uh, white parts over there, some uh, brighter areas, I'm going to change that really soon. So uh, again you can duplicate this layer so you can always come back to it if you want to do some changes and I'm going to right click do the same thing, I'm going to convert it to a smart object and then uh, right click again and rise the rise layer. Then I'm going to add a new layer, hold alt and click between the layers and now uh, I'm going to remove those white uh, brighter areas, I'm going to use this method so I'm going to add a new layer, hold alt and click between the layers and add it inside, then set this uh, layer to darken and take the brush tool, Sofran brush, select a color uh, from the trees, let's say this gray uh, brown color and I'm going to set the flow to around uh, 10%, 8-10% and I'm going to paint around and you'll see that uh, those parts will be gone and uh, 
they will look like uh, the other parts of my tree then i'm going to add a selective color to that uh, layer and uh, try to match the colors by uh, modifying the neutrals and uh, i added an exposure to make them brighter and then i created a new layer on top of them took a mist a fog brush selected uh, this uh, bluish color and i uh, started to paint around to add some more mist uh, in front of uh, those trees and now uh, i wanted to build a tree in this area where most of my action will happen and i build that tree using parts of different trees from this picture that i have from uh, photobash i used uh, this part uh, of the tree place it here and then duplicate it and flip it and then from uh, this picture uh, again from photobash i uh, added a mask and kept that uh, base of the tree from uh, this uh, photo i uh, kept the top part and from this one i selected uh, this uh, left area of the tree and uh, place it uh, here on the left side now because i have different parts from different trees different colors different textures and stuff like that uh, you can see that the tree uh, isn't looking that uh, well first thing that i'm going to do is to add a noise filter so i'm just going to create a new layer and i'm going to press the letter d to reset the swatches and uh, black should be on top white should be underneath take the paint bucket tool and fill that layer with black then go to filter and here choose noise add noise and here amount 400 percent gaussian monochromatic hit ok go to filter hit blur two times and uh, then set the blending mode to lighten and clip it inside by uh, holding alt and click between the layers then i'm going to decrease the opacity to around 10 percent and now we can see with and without that uh, my different parts of the trees uh, they start to uh, look better together the next thing to have my different parts look better together is to dark them up so i'm going to use levels and decrease the whites the next very important thing is to add a hue and saturation and decrease the saturation so uh, those different uh, green colors they will look much better together after i will add this uh, hue and saturation and i will decrease the saturation then to continue this area to cover uh, this side of the river I uh, use this picture I really loved this area and uh, I'm going to use it to complete my tree so uh, I place that uh, picture along the line of uh, my trees here I uh, then added a mask and duplicated uh, this one more time and here on the left side I uh, found this uh, picture and I used this uh, left area added a mask and place that uh, over there and then again the same steps with uh, the noise filter and uh, darken them up to uh, match them much much better together and of course the hue and saturation so exactly the same steps here in the middle I uh, thought that something is missing so uh, I uh, so I found this uh, picture of uh, this tree this log and I added a mask selected what I needed and then place that uh, tree that log here on my uh, grass and uh, I did exactly the same steps we darkened the tree up using uh, levels and uh, hue and saturation to uh, match the colors then using another exposure I darken up the bottom area and the same exposure I will use to add some light so I'm going to create another exposure adjustment layer and decrease a bit to around 1 uh, and uh, 5 1 15 the exposure invert the mask by pressing invert and i'm going to paint on the left side uh, of my tree to add a bit of uh, you know lights over there because we have the light source coming from the left side and to add some colors in those lights i'm going to use uh, overlay so i'm going to create a new solid color adjustment layer and set the color to um let's say uh, this uh, yellowish uh, color and set the blending mode to overlay the same thing i'm going to click on the mask and then invert and with the brush tool i'm going to paint on uh, almost the same areas and some areas in the back because we have some uh, lights bouncing over there and uh, then uh, our lights are not uh, just uh, white they have some uh, you know colors uh, in them so i'm going to paint around 
in all the parts that the light should touch my uh, grass and my tree. After that I'm going to add another color balance and uh, add some cyan and blues and uh, that will help uh, my design to look uh, much better with the rest of the elements that I already have there, the trees and the mountains. And then uh, because the tree wasn't ready I really needed some uh, branches, some leaves and because I already spent it a lot of time in creating this design I uh, went uh, on the easy way and found a PNG tree and uh, it was already cut and uh, I really didn't spend that much time in cutting this uh, particular tree. So I placed uh, that tree, those branches underneath. I did the same thing with the noise filter and the levels to darken them up and color balance to change the color. And I repeated the process and added the same branch on top. I wanted to have more uh, leaves and branches over there and I the same, I repeated the same steps with uh, levels and uh, exposure and now a really cool trick that I have learned from the learning screen channel by watching his tutorials is to add a texture to fill uh, all the tree and the grass and everything that I have there so uh, I have this texture I'm going to drag it into my design on top of everything and then I'm going to duplicate it many times so just hold alt and uh, shift to match the horizontal line and then select both layers and merge them together and uh, repeat the process until you have uh, covered the entire screen after I did that I'm going to place this uh, as a clipping mask so hold alt and click and uh, place it inside your tree of course it doesn't really look that well now but set the blending mode to soft light right click and uh, convert it to a smart object and then press ctrl and u which is the shortcut for hue and saturation and now decrease the saturation I'm going to add a mask to this layer and with the soft round brush and the black color I'm going to paint on top of it to hide a bit some parts of that texture where I thought that it is uh, too much but uh, with this technique you can uh, cover a lot of imperfections and uh, give it like uh, a uniform look and then uh, on the margins of this tree because it looks like it's cut you know and it doesn't really look that well and overall I have uh, the same problem uh, I try to manually paint some uh, grass and some uh, flowers so for that I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to use Devin L. Kurtz brushes, the grass pack uh, uh, especially. So you should go to her uh, Gumroad website and download those brushes for free. I would like to thank her a lot for those brushes. I don't, I don't remember exactly. I think that at some point I bought them but now they are free which is amazing. You should download them uh, right now because she has a lot a lot of brushes over there. So I uh, search a lot for the perfect brush, I never know which is the perfect one, I tried them a lot, uh, many of them, so I found uh, one of them and I uh, started to paint on the margins of uh, the tree to hide uh, that uh, really sharp uh, line that I had uh, over there and uh, I continue to do that uh, for the entire tree on the left and also uh, for the right side. And then I created another layer and on top of it I uh, painted some uh, flowers for example. So um, here on the flowers area I, uh, as I said I experimented a lot. Uh, I tried to use a different color, a more saturated color. So uh, I painted uh, some uh, flowers along uh, this uh, part and uh, then I uh, switched to the and then I switched to the eraser tool and uh, started to erase some parts that uh, you know I didn't uh, really like and I continued to do that to the entire tree. For the next part of the tutorial we are going to learn how to add this hut, add a perspective to it, add the lights to that hut, uh, add a spirit and then uh, add some rays on top of them. We are going to learn how to create this unicorn, how to add this elf and uh, the rest of the details that uh, will make uh, my artwork look like that. 
So if you are eager to learn, uh, wait until next week and watch the second part of this tutorial. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to watch those videos next if you want to learn even more about photo manipulation and Photoshop.